Oops. So uh, <laughs> Julian is not here, so uh, Go and I will try to explain what the problems are. So the problem seems to be PubSub is slow, and uh, it's not configurable, uh, and the PubSub message reveals the peer ID. So the plan was that uh, a pluggable PubSub protocol, maybe which is application specific, so right now there's a default. So if we have a plug pluggable PubSub protocol, then maybe we can tune it for applications. Uh, and uh, stale data pruning, so we get a message, and sometimes you have a dynamic app, so you have a stale message, you don't want that to, uh, it's useless, so we don't want to, that to, we want, don't want to propagate that. And uh, if you have a more structured PubSub overlay, then it, uh, the peer ID, which is in the PubSub message, that can be used to DOS uh, peer. So that peer PubSub message should be without the peer ID. And I don't know what the last thing is, maybe. Yeah, so one more thing about the uh, PubSub message without the peer IDs, because currently it's, we're considering about the an, an anonymous mode, like when, when a user don't want to expose what they're doing through the PubSub, so that maybe this can be left to the application layer to decide how they want to deal with peer ID. Um, and the last one um, is, is that, um, because in, in currently, as our understanding is that the PubSub data format is different from IPNS, so if you subscribe to IPNS, you can't reuse the, your, your result from the PubSub. So if that format can be shared between those two mechanisms, the application layer can kind of have a way of optimizing this mechanism. So this is less like a solution, but kind of like a wish list of what we think if we can have that will make building the dynamic applications better. And I think we deserve the trophy because our deep dive was so deep, Satoshi stepped into it, stepped into it and was never seen again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.